What's up, Tuner Heads? Welcome back to another video. And today, yes, you read by the title, we are trying hydro dipping for the first time. It's been a trend on YouTube for a while, and I wanted to see if we could try that with tennis equipment. So we're gonna try it with a racket, we're gonna try it with a ball, and maybe some old tennis shoes if I can find some. If you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil, and this is where we talk about tennis and enjoy tennis on and off the court in a more casual way for you guys to get involved with the sport and to learn and to just have fun with it as well. We're gonna head to Home Depot now to get the supplies that we need. We already have the bucket. We're gonna use an old trash can instead of a tub. So we're gonna see how that goes. But if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 700 subscribers and we are going to Houston next week to cover the Houston Oracle Challenger as well as the 125K series for the women. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So make sure you are subscribed and leave a big like on this video. There she is. Home Depot. Car. What is that god awful noise? Oh my. It's November 3rd, I think. It's the beginning of November and we already have Christmas already up in, in Home Depot. Alright, let's find the spray paint. So according to WikiHow, which is the best source for whenever I need something to, whenever I need to find out how to do something, it says I need a sealant, a coater, and then some spray paint. But I, what I've seen and in my other part of my research, basically all the other YouTubers just use spray paint in the bucket. So I think we're just gonna go with do that and get a spray mask as well. I'm definitely gonna need one of these. Is this a three pack? I'll get the first thing on the list. Safety. Uh, get some latex gloves too. Um, do I want the, let's go with the, is that cheap? This looks cheap. 10 pack for, yeah. Heavy duty gloves, four bucks, yep. I found the paint, but I don't know where the spray paint is. Let's see. That's a chair. Those are windows. Where's the spray paint? How hard is this? This is Home Depot. I feel like it should all be easy. Ah. Tide pods, we don't need that. Bounty, super glue. I'll temporarily close. I'm actually wondering, where can I find spray paint? Uh, 14 towards the front. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Easy. Aisle 14. Aisle 14. Perfect. See, we, we were just here too. But it's not that hard. All I have to do is read. So I found the paint. So let's pick some colors. We want some cool colors. So we want... Oh, this blue looks cool. So let's go with this one. We'll go, with, we'll go with some different blues. Blue. Is there a green? I would like a green. Oh, this green looks cool. Let's do this green. Where's a red? I would like a red. That's pink. This red looks good. Oh, this one looks good. This one too. I don't need that many blues, so let's get rid of this one. I like how this is like the testing area for all the colors too. Let's get a white. That's a primer though. Do I need a primer? I don't know what's going on. Do I want a black? I'm thinking... I'm thinking black as well. Kind of like a... Just to test it out. But I don't know if that's... Oh, there's too many. What's this? This, this seems fine. Or is there a black in that one too? I'm just gonna... Actually... Let's test it. Oh, that's perfect. Green, red, black. I'll get a yellow too, just to be, make it a tie-dye. Is there a purple? Or can we make purple? There is purple, yes. Let's go with this one. Dark purple. And then, I think, do we want white? Nah. We don't want white. I think that'll be enough. Each can is like four bucks too, that's insane. All right, got my colors. 
We're also gonna get some painter's tape. Get some painter's tape to do that. Wrap the grip. And if you want to detail like the shoe or the ball in any way, we can do that. Um, but yeah. All right, let's go check out. I got my colors. Got the safety. Got my colors, got my safety gloves, net. I think that's about it. Yeah, let's, I think that's about it. Let's go check out. We got the colors, we got the safety equipment. Now, we're gonna fast forward until tomorrow where we're gonna set everything up. Here we go. It's the next day, we got all our materials. We got the can, we got an old trash can ready with all the water inside of it ready to go. Can't see it because of the lighting, that's awesome. Hi, how's it going? That's my reflection. We got the colors, we got the mask, gloves, and then an old pro staff that I used to use. It's a little bit cracked, so we're gonna use this one and I already used the painter's tape to already go over it so that way we don't get it on the grip. I don't know, I'm gonna leave the butt cap open just because, I don't know why. But we're gonna do this and now we're gonna just get our materials ready and then we're gonna just start spray painting inside. So here we go. realized I need to find a stick to like mix it with so I'm gonna go find a stick all right here comes the best part take the racket and dip it inside I have no idea how this is gonna go I honestly don't so, let's just dip it in, find out. Whoa. Look at this. This actually didn't turn out that bad. Look at that. I just don't know what happened here. Looks like a spider web. And, oh, ah, ah, it's just wet. But I think that's pretty cool. I actually kind of like the colors too. Maybe I need something a little bit more white next time. If you guys want to see me hydro dip some white shoes, let's get this video to 20 likes. Let's get this video to 20 likes and I'll do another one of these with white shoes and a tennis ball as well. 
That actually didn't turn out that bad. I thought it would be worse. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a big like on this. Like I said, if we get this video to 20 likes, I'll do tennis shoes and a tennis ball as well. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're on our road to 700 subscribers. We're almost there. So with your help, we can definitely do that by the end of 2019. If you guys want to check out more behind the scenes content, check out all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. We're going to Houston next week, actually this coming Saturday, and we're going to be a hitting partner for Oracle Challenger. We've done it in the past in New Haven, but we're going to be getting a lot more content this time. So make sure you are subscribed for that. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks guys.